What's going on, everyone? In another episode of What's Good in Riverside, you know, I am very uh, excited today to do this one because I think that this is uh, a thing that I did not know was around Riverside. I've lived in Riverside my whole life, and I had no idea there was, like, a fit mom group out there. I mean, I just thought that, like, when I saw those people in the park, they were just, like, you know, friends. <laughs> I didn't know it was an actual group. Um, so I'm super excited today to talk about how more moms out there can get out with their kids, strollers, in the parks, get some air, and have a good time. How are you doing today? Yes, hi, good. I'm Tara. Um, I own Fit for Mom Riverside. We are that group that you see out at the parks. Um, we have multiple programs, too, um, not just the stroller drives. It's just one. That's the one we're most known for. Uh, we're a franchise. Um, there's over 300 nationwide mm. in uh, the U.S. So we're just one here, and we're so lucky to have one so in Riverside. So she has just started this. She took over back in September, yeah. which is super exciting. Super exciting. Yeah. I mean, a little, a little bit more headaches. How's the first few months been going for you? Uh, it's been a roller coaster. Yeah. It's been exciting. Um, I've been a member of Fit for Mom for about two years now. I joined when my son was seven weeks old mm -hmm. and I've loved it. I've loved every second of it. Uh, when I took over, it was just a lot of work. It was a lot of work, but really rewarding too. Do you still go to classes? I still go to classes. That's part of my, you know, as a business owner, you have to like set your own rules and boundaries mm -hmm. and, you know, your schedule. And so I make a commitment to go to class three times a week. We run classes six days a week and I'm there at least three, if not more. Mm. So what did you do before this? Um, before this, I, and I still kind of do it, I'm a Medicare insurance agent. Okay. So I left my like nine to five job, I was working for Blue Shield, mm -hmm. and I left my nine to five job in December. And I've always done my own broker work as well, and so I was that was supposed to like kick off. Mm -hmm. um, then the pandemic hit and things changed. So. I'm, I was home a lot more. This opportunity came up, and it was perfect. And I've always loved like entrepreneurship stuff. So, um, being able to like stay local and give back to the community, and fitness has always been a big part of my life. And be able to do stuff with my son still has been it's been such a blessing. Well, I think that's what's uh, is so crazy is that like you know it's almost like an addiction that people don't realize when you're in the fitness world. I mean like. I mean, I feel like everyone owns a Peloton now because that's all anyone can really do right now. Yeah. And like, luckily your guys is kind of like outdoors already. You didn't have to try to be like the 24 hour fitness building tents in the in the uh, parking lots. And so are you guys, obviously with everything going on, you guys, have you guys made some changes, like less people in groups, more distance apart from each other? Or? Yes, so we've taken some initiatives um, six to 10 feet. So we're outside. Mm -hmm. We're lucky that we were outside already. So we're outdoors. We just had to like create more distance between the moms, between the strollers. Um, there's no more sharing of equipment. If there is, it's sanitized before and after. Um, and then play groups, we have play groups afterwards, which is a great benefit. Um, we have we offer it as a take home. Okay. A lot of times the moms take their kids over to the park to play, um, but the play group is offered as a take home just as like a precaution. Um, for the time being. Nice. Right. So how long does normally one of the classes go? A class lasts an hour. Um, moms get there a few minutes early, kind of like bond and talk. And then afterwards, there's a play group a few days a week. Um, and so you can leave right away or you can hang out and talk with other moms. So we're more than just like a fitness community. It's the community. So yeah. you get to bond with other moms and, you know, talk with them. And so. That sounds great. like a great time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Do you allow dads or no? Um, so we don't really have any activities right now with dads. Every mm -hmm. once in a while we'll have what we call like a dad or day. Okay. Um, that's where dads come out on a Saturday and we can do like partner. Um, but we probably should bring that in now because if they're in the same household, then we can have a lot more partner activities mm -hmm. during our during our classes. Um, during the classes, uh, there's interaction with the babies um, while we're doing the stroller strides. And so it's just fun for baby. It's fun for mom. Um, get you out of the house, kind of like breaks up your day. Yeah, That for type sure. of thing. So what do you do? Because it's outside, like, what about weather? Do you guys, like, make game time decisions? Or is there places where people will be like, oh, class has canceled the day? Or how do you do you that? You know, luckily we're here in California, right? right? So yeah. there's, like, very few days that happen. Well, listen, and when it drops below 67, I ain't going outside. Yeah, yeah. It does get cold and we layer up. But um, unless there's, like, crazy wind or a storm, a rainy storm, 
form, then we'll take it virtual and we'll hold okay. the classes virtual. Um, but for the most part, if it's just a little bit of rain, we still hold class. We still hold class where there's like coverage um, over Arlington Heights Sports Park. Um, and if it's just a little bit of a drizzle, it's not that big of a deal for Well, why don't you let everyone know what parks you work at, work at so the Riverside? So you can find us a few days a week over at Orange Terrace Community Park. And then we're also at Arlington Heights Sports Park. And we're also at um, Washington Park. Okay. Off of uh, Mary and Victoria. Oh, exciting. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. So you've been with it for two years now. Yes. And now you've been an owner for a few months. Yes. What has been the biggest thing that you didn't realize went into from being a student to now being the owner? I had no idea what was behind the scenes. Okay. So there's a lot of work going on. Um, I'm constantly busy. I'm, you know, I run the social media aspect of it. I didn't realize how much <clears throat> work went into that. Also just like working with the cities, the permits, um, just the scheduling with the city also, um, you know, just everything. Oh, cause you have to schedule with the city to mm -hmm. make sure there's not any people using the park at that time? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. um, we also run like different types of programs that need like marketing launches and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, there's also, I have seven employees. So there's also a lot of, a lot goes behind with that and scheduling. So. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot goes into it, yeah. uh, but it's been exciting. Well, you said you, so you run their social, your social media. Is this like the first time you ever had to go like onto social media? So I was like personally on social media, yeah, posting whenever I feel like it. Yeah. But now it's like, you a know, job. it's a job. Yes. Um, I have to post stuff that like, you know, I mm -hmm. think is going to be engaging and I fun. Know. It's a different game, the isn't it? The way you word it, everything. It's a different game. Yeah. Everyone mm -hmm. always says that to me because that's like where I live. They're like, oh, it's just posting. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm like, you now have to tactically post, not like what do you have for lunch. Like you got to be like, when do I post? And then what people don't understand, you spend all this time on a post and no one likes it or <laughs> no one engages it and you're just like, Nobody cares. You're like, no one even cares. <laughs> You're like, I spent all this time, especially like us. It's like, cool, I made a, a food vlog that took us, you know, four or five hours to make, and I got no likes and no one cared about it. Well, awesome. Well, I, I visited your uh, food vlogs, and I was... I was like looking through your stuff. Stop. And so I watched like most of the food places and yeah. there was a few I wasn't even aware of. So I'm really happy oh, I watched and those. I mean, that's the biggest thing is like, I mean, perfect example. I've lived in Riverside for 33 years. I had no idea there was a mom group that yeah. was fitness oriented yeah. that went to group. Like I had no idea. Yeah. And so, you know, you say you have seven employees are mostly those people trainers or? Yeah, instructors. Mm -hmm. So, and all of our instructors are trained and certified in pre and postnatal care. So no matter like what stage of motherhood they're in, everybody is going to exercise at a different level. So a mom that's pregnant or a mom that just had a baby is going to be at a different level than a mom that's had a baby a year ago. And so our instructors are trained to know how to modify the exercises for the moms. And then do you guys have like a, a kid age cutoff? Like so, it used to be pre-COVID. Yeah. It was like once they were out of a stroller, okay. you kind of like graduate out of stroller strides, and that's when we have other programs that mm -hmm. come into place. Um, but now with COVID and a lot of kids at home, you can bring your um, children that are over like four or five, and they just kind of hang out near the stroller. Mm -hmm. um, and we have a lot of moms that do that. Yeah. There's a lot of moms that still want to get out and be active and move. So. Yeah. So do so so the stroller classes like do you do a lot of work with the strollers? Yeah. So well, you kind of like are in front of the strollers. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, you might like lightly touch your stroller or use the wheel or something like that. But for the most part, you're kind of just like your child's kind of strapped in their stroller, mm -hmm. um, and then you're you're just you know interacting with your child while you're exercising. Um, maybe the instructor's doing something to entertain the babies. We also have playgroup captains, and our playgroup captains kind of keep the kids entertained, whether it's now like with bubbles from afar, singing a song. Mm -hmm. um, and so that mo so moms can get that time in to kind of focus on a certain exercise. And then, then like, are, how often are the classes changing, like the workouts, or are they pretty consistent? Um, so every workout's gonna be different, and the instructors will put together like a an exercise group or an exercise plan for that day. Mm -hmm. um, so it's always going to be different, different songs, different type of exercises. Um, but every station, so our stations are about 10 minutes long. Um, and then we we change the location so that the kids don't get too bored and yeah. upset. Um, and so every station is going to focus on something else, upper body, lower body, cardio, core, that type of thing. That's exciting. Yeah. yeah. That's exciting. And then are these people are like, or is it like a membership? 
Um, so we offer different plans. We have membership, um, which is going to be like the best bang for your buck, as they say. Um, and then we also offer per class or we offer, you know, a, a class pack, 10, five classes. Well, I'm going to drop you. So where do people like get started with this? Do you have like a website that you go to? Um, so it's going to be riverside.fitformom.com. Mm -hmm. um, or you can find us on IG. Um, if We are riverside underscore fit for mom. And then you can um, send us a message. We'll get you started. Mm -hmm. We can offer, if you mention this podcast, oh, there you go. <laughs> we'll give you half off your first month. Oh, exciting. So, yeah. Well, there you go, everyone. Super exciting. What's up, Chris? Sorry, my buddy just came in there. Um, so that's exciting. So, so you just started this. You know, obviously we're going in some crazy times. But what is the goal for it moving forward? Obviously, you took over, and you know, there's obviously some changes that you're going to make. What changes are you looking forward to making with the company? Um, I want to reach more moms. So I want to reach all the moms. There's so many people that don't know about us. Um, like you said, you've never heard of us. I wasn't aware either. I was on um, Moms of Riverside. Actually, Moms of Riverside. So run by Fit for Mom. Um, and so thousands of Riverside moms in this group. And I had never heard of Fit for Mom Riverside. And because of a posting I saw on there, I reached out when my son was mm -hmm. just a few weeks old. And that's how I got involved. So um, going forward, I want to reach as many moms as we can. I want to put our name out there. It's kind of humbling, right? Like you realize it's like, really, no one really knows me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like we did a podcast like a week ago and guys like, I have never heard of you. And our offices are like one block away from each other. Yeah. He's like, I've never seen you. I've never heard of you. And it's like, yeah, like you don't even realize. And you're like, great. All my posts on Instagram is not working. Yeah. So your fits for moms for Riverside. So is, the goal, is there like a Marino Valley one or thing like that? Or are you trying to expand that out? Um, so right now we're just in Riverside. Um, that'd be nice to expand into Marina Valley, but right now there's so much in Riverside to do. Mm -hmm. um, we do have some moms that come from Marina Valley. We have some that come from Paris. Um, Corona has their own fit for mom. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then Temecula has a fit for mom, Chino Hills. So, so you're kind of competing against them. You know, moms are only going to drive so far to, to come work out or, you know, be with their mom friends. So it's, I really don't, I feel like we work together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How is it when like a baby starts crying? Does it just ruin the class? Or, no. you, or your moms are like, I'll tell you, my buddy Chris just walked by. He has, oh my God, that's embarrassing. I'm a kid, so yeah. He has three, okay. all right? And it's like five, three, and two, or one, or something like that. And I'll be on the phone with him, and there's just so much commotion. I have no kids. <laughs> I had so much commotion in the background, and I'm like, bro, I gotta go. He's like, why? I'm like, I can't handle this. He's like, handle what? And I'm like, you, you don't he hear, hear this? It. And he's like, hear what? And I'm like, He's like, they're not even being loud. I'm like, they're not being loud. Are you kidding me? It's, yeah. it's it, I feel like the house is getting burned down over there. He's like, oh, no, they're just playing. Well, that's the thing. Everybody's a mom there. Exactly. So our instructors are moms. So the, the other moms are moms. Mm -hmm. And so we don't hear your child screaming. You only hear your, your child goes, screaming. Yeah. yeah. And then we have our playgroup captains. Are the instructor who's going to like try to, you know, before COVID, we could like take the stroller. They would hold the babies. Mm -hmm. None of that's happening now, but we have bubbles, songs, stuff like that to help to help with some of that. Then we move stations, and all of a sudden, like Everyone everyone's happy again. Everyone. Snacks. Oh, oh, snacks are big. So, um, I think it's still for adults. Yeah, I love yeah. my good snack. So we give um, our babies are snacked up, and and they're happy most of the time. So, I, I would think the only thing that probably ruin it would be like a diaper change. You know. There's there's all kinds of things. Maybe mom has to change diaper. Yeah. Mom needs to breastfeed, give a bottle, um, you know, all kinds of things. Maybe your child's throwing a tantrum and they're not calming down. Yeah. And mom might walk away, and mm -hmm. it's fine. And we're fine with that, too. Of course. Yeah, even moms show up late um, to class, a few minutes late, because maybe you had a blowout on yeah. the way. <laughs> um, maybe something happened, a, you know, a bottle spilled on Ben, mm -hmm. all kinds of things. But it's where I understand, because yeah, everyone there is a mom. mom yeah. Yeah. So you said you guys do, when the weather's not great, you do online classes. Are you guys offering that also during this time because of COVID, or no? Um, so yeah, so when um, COVID first hit, we were virtual only for for a little while. Um, it's hard to engage of after course. a while yeah. with virtual. So we still do offer virtual classes. Um, also, headquarters for Fit for Mom is located in San Diego, and they offer all kinds of virtual classes that we use too. Um, so. Even if a mom can't make it, something's happened and she needs to take a week or two off, we offer a virtual option too, mm -hmm. so that she can get a workout in at home. Yeah, and then you said, obviously, this is like a membership, like, and you said you have people that are like pregnant before that, like, is there like a pause phase? Like, 
after birth or how does that? Yeah, so we offer, you can go on hold. Mm -hmm. Um, Holds are always offered. Um, But we offer, speaking of like pregnant, we offer Fit for Baby. And Fit for Baby is a like pregnant environment for you to work out. Um, All the moms are pregnant and it kind of like just gets you ready and strengthens your body Mm -hmm. for pregnancy while you're pregnant. Um, And then once mom has the baby, they usually would like, they'll transition over to stroller strides. Mm -hmm. And then once they're kind of out of stroller strides, thank you. Um, Once they transition out of stroller strides, we have a transformation program called Body Well. Used to be called Body Back. Now they change it to Body Well. Um, And it's just like a coaching, nutritional uh, accountability program. Do you think it's so important for people who are pregnant to keep staying active to get prepared for that before, before labor? Um, bef- oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like to get prepared for mm-hmm. labor? Yeah, it's going to strengthen you. Because when you're pregnant, you kind of end up, like, losing some, like, muscle tone and, and that type of thing. But, yeah, absolutely, it's going to help tremendously if you stay active and, and exercise while you're pregnant. So And then it, like, helps you after, too. Like, mm-hmm. if you are exercising prior to giving birth, it's going to help you after and all the different stages of motherhood. So. I'm learning so much today. I hope yeah. you know this. this might You're going to be ready. <laughs> I'm, listen, if that day ever comes, I'm going to be prepared. Yeah. I'm definitely prepared. So obviously you have the groups and everything like that. And, you know, you have all the moms there and they're all working and all the kids are going in there. Do, do you guys see maybe growing, you know, obviously like for a lot longer, like where it's like 12 year olds, like more moms even later on in life? Yeah, so we actually are looking at adding like a f- called Fit for Littles or type of like PE programs mm-hmm. for kids because now kids are at home and they need to stay active. So we're actually looking at um, maybe adding a program later in this oh, year. Oh, for, for younger for, for like, younger kids. For like what age group? Like thinking like 7 to 10? Yeah, or? yeah, probably like ages 5 to like 11, 12, mm-hmm. you know. You get to a certain age where kids are going to be like, They just want to play no. video games. Yeah. <laughs> And that's what's crazy too right now. It's like my sister has three kids and and it's just like all they do is sit in front of computer screens right now. Yeah. They don't even have that like play time. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and it, it's it's definitely I think hurting them for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Not to be active. Yeah, it'd be nice. What we're thinking is moms get the kids out and then maybe us hold like a class for the moms around the same time. So mm-hmm. kids get their exercise, mom gets her workout in too. For sure. So yeah. So that'd be, be great fun. for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you love most about since you took this over and left your nine to five job? I love, um, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm having like such a blast planning our community events. We have something called Our Village um, and it, we have mom's night, every month we have like mom's night, we have our play groups I mentioned, we have like field trips, special events. Um, and I really enjoy getting to like help plan that stuff with mm-hmm. my community um, village coordinator and it's just fun. And sometimes I'm like, oh, I can't believe this is my job. Like, yeah. this is so much fun getting to be, like, creative and, and have a party for fun. So um, I would say that's probably just being able to bring people together in the community um, is my favorite favorite part of all of it. Favorite part of that. Mm-hmm. Um, do you guys do anything like teaming up with Riverside? You know, obviously you guys are doing a lot of stuff with the parks and you guys have been around for a while. Are you guys doing anything with Riverside in general? Um, as or being, trying to team up with them to like promote more of mom's mom's fitness or fitness in general well, for children. I think that's something we'll work on this year. We definitely want to do that. We used to be like in there would be like hometown heroes, uh, the run, mm-hmm. and they would they would have um, the instructors do like the warm up and that type of thing. But definitely going this year, I'd like to to do more of that. Um, we do want to connect with more local businesses mm-hmm. and help promote other businesses. Uh, we do things like we'll get like kids milk, like we'll hand stuff out to our moms to help promote, and it kind of helps bring business to other businesses. We have like a private Facebook community. Mm-hmm. We like to talk about um, other businesses to try to help them too. Well, so. for sure, because if it helps one mom, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Other moms are definitely going to need it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, well, it's really nice that you guys do that. I think yeah. that's something we talked about before the podcast started was just like how really like this is kind of like this year has kind of showed me. It's like everyone has to kind of help each other now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like everyone's like everything's struggling right now and everything's harder. Yeah. You know, especially with everything going on and 
small businesses and you're a small business. And I think that's what something probably people don't realize is that they look at, you know, and I think the same thing kind of happened to you where you're like, oh, I'm just, we're just moms working out in a park. Yeah. They're like, I can take this on. And then you get on, you're like, I got to have permits. I got to have insurance. I got to have payroll. I got to have this. I have to have that. Yeah. And I don't think people realize all the things that go into just mom's working out in a park. Yeah. No, Isn't absolutely. that crazy? Yeah. Like if it's a group of friends, it's no big deal. The moment you put like money involved, it's like, oh, okay, well now you need a permit and now you need insurance. Yeah. Now you need payroll. Now you need HR. Now you need this. Yeah. It's a lot. There's a lot that goes into it. So I have so much respect for all, like all business owners. I mean, fit for mom owners, but yeah, all owners. So where do you normally find your trainers from? So our trainers were former members. Mm -hmm. Um, Sometimes they reach out to us because they're interested, Um, but we're always hiring. So if anybody has, you know, if they're a mom and they're interested and, you know, being in an environment like Fit for Mom Riverside, then we're definitely always, we're always hiring and interested. Um, We have, obviously with moms, we have people that go on maternity leave Mm -hmm. or they age out maybe their children are getting older and or they go back to work or that type of thing um so we're always looking for more and then normally what time is these at because obviously you would like i mean not right now but like with dropping kids off and picking them up from yeah. school what normally times are you guys having your your workouts so our stroller strides is offered 9 30 monday through saturday mm-hmm. um we have other programs we have a run club too so you guys of, just have everything. Yeah, we have we have except run. no groups for dads. <laughs> yeah, so we we gotta look we into got that. Sat- we got yeah. Saturday. We got dad <laughs> Saturdays. Yeah, so run clubs offered. They meet on the weekend once a week, and then through the week there's like virtual check ins and trainings, mm-hmm. um, and that's also coach led. And so you don't even have to be a runner, but if you're interested in you know from going from walking to running, you want to do a 5K, 10K, half marathon, uh, we have a, a plan for. Do you guys normally do that? Like, obviously, like the, I mean, not, didn't happen last year and it's not probably going to happen this year, maybe it will, mm-hmm. but like the Mission in 5K run, do you guys try to like get a group together to do that? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm-hmm. When everything was in person, we always had a run at the end of our run club sessions. Mm-hmm. Right now, it's all virtual. It's not as engaging. So we put together our own little races. Okay. Um, and which are still fun. Yeah. So. I used to do the colored runs. I used to like doing those. Those are fun. Yeah. Those are fun. But yeah. no one's really actually running. Yeah. You kind of just walk those. Yeah, but at least it's fun afterwards. But now they have the virtual races and it's not as fun. No. It's like do it on your own time and yeah. you're by yourself. And Yeah, I don't even, I got really into mountain biking. I don't even like mountain biking by myself. I mean, you're breaking my table. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even like, I don't even like mountain, I've come to realize I don't even like mountain biking by myself. Like I get bored. I'm like, well, this is lame. Yeah. Like yeah. this sucks. Like even though like you're not like, you're, it's like that interaction with people that yeah. really helps. I can't go run. Like, yeah, it is. The, it's the community. Well, yeah, it's the yeah, community. It back to the community. Exactly. So you guys are how many members do you kind of think you have right now? You know, right? how strong or how strong is the mom fit in Riverside? <laughs> All together, you know, with COVID, we we lost quite a few members. Of course. Um, but right now, with all, between all our programs, I'd say we're somewhere about sixty five right now. Okay. And I would say with COVID, we lost probably about half of our membership. Yeah. So yeah. what's your goal for the end of two thousand and twenty one? Oh, we we're gonna get back to where we were. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna reach more moms, and even before COVID, um, you know, we weren't reaching all the moms. So that's just the goal. It's like, how do we? get this out how do we you know inform more moms so we're gonna increase our marketing you know different different areas of marketing Mm -hmm. do you guys just heavily go on social media is that where you're yeah most of it is is a lot is on social media i know because you know where are moms going when they're you know i want to get out with my baby so you know it's like mommy and me like Mm -hmm. what what can i go out and do with my baby so we assume they're looking on social media so um you know we're gonna work also more with Yelp and Google and yeah, stuff like that. I hate Yelp. I know. I hate Yelp They're... so much. Yeah. No one knows how much Yelp sucks until yeah. you're a business owner. Mm-hmm. I hate Yelp. I will not give Yelp any money. I oh, hate them more they than They want my... a lot of money. They want a lot of money. <laughs> Everyone, a little history about Yelp. Yelp is like the mafia. They want yeah. a, they shake you down for a lot of money, and then they hide all your good reviews. Yeah. So you're like, sweet, I just got ten good reviews, and then they hide them all because they go, oh well, we think this person's not a Yelp, real Yelper. Well, 
why? Oh, they only have had one other review than yours. You're like, well, they got to start somewhere. No, nope, sorry. <laughs> so now you're paying money and they yeah. don't even get your reviews shot. Yeah, and they're oh. kind of like, if you want it to show. Oh, yeah, they money. go, exactly. And they go, yes, <laughs> oh, if you want to show your Yelp reviews and you need to pay more money. So, yeah. like, I am anti Yelp. Yeah. I yeah. can't. I've, I've paid it in the past and they've shook me down so many times and I cannot stand it. Yeah. And that's another thing. Have you started learning, like, you're obviously going down, like, different rows. You're like, oh, okay, that didn't work. Work, okay stop do that you know what I mean I think that's another thing people don't realize it's like there's no guarantee like like permanent I think I you know th- Yelp was like 300 bucks a month I didn't get one deal off Yelp and I ran it for six months it's yeah like, and we have to just try you, know, you, you have, have to, to try have to everything try it, yeah to see where it's at and because um you know I'm able when I talk to other fit for mom franchises one thing might work for them in mm-hmm. their area, but it doesn't work for us. Like that, virtual mm-hmm. classes are popular, but for us, it, it wasn't as popular. I think that's the thing. If you just demographically, mm-hmm. some things just work in certain areas yeah. that they just don't work everywhere. Yeah, and I don't. I, that's the hardest part, and that's why probably, you know, ninety five percent of small businesses don't last because it's like, what works? What do you spend mm-hmm. money on? Yeah. So in the perfect world, what is something that you will be doing that no other fit for moms do? something that we'd be doing um i would say offering like fitness for everybody and dads i don't know yeah there's because there's 300 franchises Mm -hmm. nationwide you know everybody's doing a lot so i do like how you're helping out other small businesses yeah i I like yeah and i think that's what people need to realize is like the way you get more business is not it's so it's so weird but it's like not trying to get business gets more business and that's the (laughs) I mean, it's so funny, like, when yeah. people always say that, I'm like, it's true. Like, it's almost like you have to go a different angle yeah. because everyone's hitting them up. Yeah. Do you, a lot of your uh, moms also, like, are members at gyms, too? Um, some moms are, they have their, like, me time. LA Fitness or yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah, they might. Well, right now, nobody. Nobody, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But. <laughs> but, yeah, they have their, their gym memberships, too. Um, but for the most part, they have their, ch- like, the reason they came to us is because they have their kids mm-hmm. with them. And so it's just kind of like, I can get out. I can exercise. I can mingle with other moms yeah. and bring my child with me. I think the one thing you did say earlier that's so important, I think that's a shout out to all, anyone who's thinking about doing this, is that it's like they'll create the own level of fitness for you based on where you're at. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what scares people a lot with fitness is yeah. that they're going to like show up and not be able to keep up. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, when I started, I was like not in shape at all, even though like I've always been into fitness, but mm-hmm. while I was pregnant, I did not move. And mm-hmm. so Were you just a diver on food. Were yeah. You, uh, oh my gosh. Like I was eating everything I wanted. Yeah. I was like not exercising. And so by the time it was like you know, I went back to exercising. I was at like a lower level and it wasn't a big deal Mm -hmm. because I was postpartum, newly postpartum. And I was also, um, out of shape and it was fine. Like, you know, they modified for it for modified the exercise for me. And it wasn't a big deal because Mm -hmm. there were other moms who needed the modification too. Um, so it wasn't like a boot camp necessarily. Um, it was just like, go at your own pace, your own level. And, I joined for the fitness, but I'd have to say I stayed for like the community. Oh, for sure. Yeah, because even when I went back to work, I wasn't finding the time to make it to the mm-hmm. class, but I still stuck around because I wanted to stay engaged with the other moms, go to the moms' nights. Like for a little while, all I did was go to moms' nights. Yeah, just the <laughs> mom nights, just get yeah. crazy on the moms' nights. But yeah. and I think that's something that keeps a lot of moms probably away from the gym is that intimidation oh, of yeah. thinking like, oh, I don't, I don't know how to use this equipment yeah. or. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna walk around in the gym. I mean, I, I mean, my mom's. I don't want to say my mom's age or anything, <laughs> but she's in the '60s area, and that's her thing. She's like, she knows she needs to work out, but she's like, I can't. When I go to the gym, I'm so intimidated. I don't know what anything is, and yeah, yeah, then I I've just stop there. going. Yeah, yeah, I've been there. Um, yeah, and our their instructor led, so it's just like you're told what to do, and you don't have to guess what to do. So, um, I I think that's great that we offer that the biggest one is the fit for baby that we offer when you're pregnant like you're not you, you're intimidated you don't want to go to the gym people are like you're pregnant why are you here mm-hmm. even though it's totally normal to be at a gym while you're pregnant yeah um but you also have to change things up and you might not be sure how to change it up so our fit for baby program offers you know that that type of you know 
Love. solves that problem perfect yeah. <laughs> you're just solving fitness problems left and right at all yeah, levels so yeah. well i appreciate so much coming in here yes letting everyone letting everyone know about fit for moms because yes. i didn't know that it was a thing <laughs> and what to leave off on this what is the best way for people to get hold i know you said earlier on instagram and obviously adrian will put it right here okay. wherever he wants to put it <laughs> um but what's one last thing you want to leave people on um, you can also reach us at riverside at fitformom.com. That's um, fit, the number four, mom.com. Um, but we have a place for you. If you're a mom, then you belong here. So so dad's out, mom's <laughs> in. So yeah. thank you so much for your time. I'm right. super excited you, now that yeah, we've so connected. Great. I'm excited to see the growth Yes. And the new classes you're going to have and yes. all the new moms you're going to get out there yes. and all the the fitness that you're going to make people healthier in life because the one thing we've learned through this crazy time is Absolutely. fitness and health is so important. Absolutely. And that's what we really need to focus on. So yes. until next time, guys, peace. Thank you.